Ready? Yeah. Right, just show them real quick the loading the trailer, no problem. But help people, I'll tell you, if you got one that can't load up in this kind of a trailer, I don't know, you're taking your life in your hands every time you get on one like that because I'm based on these guys following me where I need to go and trusting that I'm going to put them in the right place. And if they don't trust me enough with that, I don't believe he's very safe because he's not trusting you to do pretty much anything if you can't get him in a stock trailer. But this is kind of the way that they go. They'll load right up, unload nice. And if by chance we miss on one of these horses that we sell, then that's, you don't see that on a video, they will not be getting sold out of my place if they can't operate in and out of these trailers in this manner. They don't follow us around kind of in really calm and understanding what we're doing. It's all about understanding. No one's made to do anything. They just understand what we expect them to do and they behave that way. Good. And here's that, that rope horse, that heel horse. He'll go kind of along the traffic, whatever you want to do with him. That's a big ass truck right there. That's him, trying to stall it all day long, whatever you want to do. Parade horse, rope horse, kids horse. You pick it. And this is the little horse loping in circles. Now we're video. This is a this is a stallion here, the stud horse. People say, what's the big deal about any of this? What I'm what I'm trying to show is. With these horses, they don't need to go and they don't need to get with the other one. He doesn't, he's not spooky in any kind of manner whatsoever. He's not going to come and talk to that horse unless I ask him to talk to him. He's looking to me for direction, basically, is all that is. Come on, bud. All right, off. Now. I've shown these videos before and people with their comments sometimes come back and they say things like, oh, look at the tough guys with the, making the horse go up on that wagon or whatever over that ramp. It's not about being a tough guy, people. It's nothing like that. All what I'm showing is that these horses understand what we're doing and they're cooperative with what we ask them to do. If they don't do all this kind of stuff when you're off the ground, when you're on their back in the saddle, they're going to even do less for you in the saddle. So. I mean, you haters, go ahead and hate on it. But we like these horses to be obedient and to be safe. I don't want something to jump on top of somebody if they're leading it down a ramp like that. So, here's where they learn to understand that kind of stuff. Good boy. So, and again, not taking him back, there's a couple more obstacles. If I bring a horse into this kind of stuff like this and that thing's head goes straight up in the air and that horse loses it, he's not ready to be sold to anybody. Not even ready for me to get on the damn thing because I don't like him to be that way. I want him to understand what we're doing and to get it. When they can stay relaxed like this around everything, when I'm in the saddle, there's not a whole lot I'm going to do to get the, to work this horse up and get the tensions up because he already sees what softness is and this is what he wants and likes. From here on out, this horse is easy for anybody. Good boy. I'm going to have to get his back on off that. Push his eye over. Good. Send him back on the other side. And that's what they are. 